what up tubers this is super Dale. today i got another amazing video for you all right now in this video i'm going to show you how to use your windows pc i'm running windows 10 okay i'm not familiar with windows 11 and i definitely been moved up from windows 7 so i am on windows 10 and i'm going to show you how to share your your movie library across your network using your computer i know we have the de um devices like sudo i know we have plex i know we have routers in this video i'm just going to use my windows 10 pc now i don't know anything about a macbook any of them apple products so i'm sorry you might not want to ask me anything about will this work on the mac i'm very unfamiliar with it so what you're going to need is to your username and password for your Windows computer, all right? That is definitely, you're gonna need that. Cause when we go to share this, you really, really need it. It's, it's very important that you have that. Also, again, I'm using Windows, all right? And then I'm using an external hard drive. Whatever you may use, that's up to you. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to share my external hard drive that's connected to my Windows 10 PC and share it across the network. And what the app I'm going to use is Nova Video Player, which you see right there highlighted in your screen. And I am on a TiVo Stream 4K Android TV device. All right. If you know it. Google TiVo Stream 4K, and you will see how I look. It's an amazing device. All right, so the first thing we're going to do before I do anything on the TiVo, and here is the TiVo remote, and, you know, you see me move and things like that. But the first thing I'm going to do, let me go over here and add this. All right, I have this device right here. It's like a, a one terabyte, something like that, um, that's connected you know, to this, uh, to my computer. It's in my F drive right here. Don't worry about this one because I already have this one set up. But in this demonstration, I'm going to use this one that says Dale Media Library, and it's in the F. So when you, when you connect your external drive, flash drive, whatever you have to this, to your computer, the first thing you want to do is right-click. When you right-click, guys, you go... Go into properties. It's all the way at the bottom right here. Go into properties. And up here, you're going to see some tabs called security, previous version, quota, customized. What we're looking for is sharing. All right. So that's what we want right there. We want to select the sharing option. And as you see right here, it says network file and folder sharing. You see it's in the F drive. It says not shared, no network path, no anything. What you're going to have to do is go into advanced sharing. All right. So I'm going to click advanced sharing. And then you might have this box um, come up. It says share this folder. So I'm going to select this right here that says share this folder. It gives me the, the name. It says share name F. And then down here, you know, I'm going to just leave this blank. So from here, I'm going to hit apply. Hit the apply button and then select OK. All right. OK is right there. Now, when I come here, you see it said network file and folder sharing. You see the F is being shared. And now it's giving me a path. All right. Network path. You might want to remember this. Mine's is called desktop 4 t one k one jh So I'm going to just write that down at least the one jh okay that's what i'm looking for and again it's going to be very very important that you know your username and password to your pc all right it's very important okay from there i can close this out and i can remove it and if you just want to check just double check you can right click and go back in the properties and then sharing just to make sure it is on. All right. So once you see that is on, we're good. It's saying it's shared. 
Now we can hit OK again, and let me go over to the TiVo device, all right? So I'm going to do this, and let me do this right here. So now I am on my TiVo device. So this is a fresh installed Nova video player application. This is inside of the Google Play Store. It's very, 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 very nice, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the Nova video player, and you got to accept this. So the first thing you're going to have to do is click allow. All right. From here, you see everything is nothing on here. All right. Nothing is on here. No TV shows, no anything. All right. And so what I'm going to do, what you have to do, go down here to network and files. Next thing you're going to have to do is select, go to network and select network, okay? Easy as that. Go to network, and now you got to find, you know, where it says share folder SMB. You need to find where your network is, okay? Mine's is right here. I think it said, what, JH. So let me go right here. I'm going to select that one. Okay. And you're going to get this right here. This is very, very important. All right. Remember my drive was in H. I got to put in my, my username for my PC and my password for my PC. So with that being said, this is going to be cut out and we will come back to this. Okay. Okay, guys, I just got done putting in the username and password to my PC. All right, so the next thing you have to do once you enter that, remember, it had the F drive. So all I have to do is go over and select the F drive. All right, yours may be Z, so just make sure you look for all of that. I'm going into the F drive because that is my where my external drive is at. So I'm going to click in here. And as you see, it says movies and TV shows. Now, from here, guys, all I'm going to just do is go up here and where it says index folder. All right, it says index folder. There you have it. I'm going to just click that. And it should be. It should be fairly quick because I don't have much on here. This is just for the demonstration of this video. And so when I go into my movies, I have everything right here. All right. Everything is right there. And then I have one TV show right here. So when I go up in here, here it is right here. And it got season five in here. And so that is the beauty of this. So when I go out, when I go out, um, and I go up to the movies, I could just go to the movies and see all my movies. You will see all of your movies right here. And again, when you go out and you go to the TV show, you can see all of your TV shows right here. As simple as that, guys. It, listen, do not get your, your computer username and password mixed up with your gmail unless it's the same it could be the same i don't know but you will have to get that you know that information now if you forgot your username and password for your computer there are plenty of videos that will show you how to get it using the command the reason i know is because i forgot mine as well i couldn't remember the password all right. No, I couldn't remember my username. I remember the password, but I could not remember the username. And I finally did some digging on um, YouTube, saw some videos, got it, and the rest is history. And so again, using, you know, uh, you know this this Nova Player is so nice. And again, you could go through and and set it up however you want to. And then go from there, guys. It's as simple as that. But again, 
This is so easy to do. I'm telling you, if you follow these instructions, you will be good to go. Now, again, if it's not in your budget to get us a do, and you definitely don't want to fight with your router and fight with Plex, this is another option where you can use this application called Nova Video Player, and you will be successful, guys. And this will work on pretty much any Android TV box, so including the Nvidia Shield, the on devices. If you bought a on, if you bought a, a device off of Amazon that's called Woo Woo Android TV box, it should work with that as well as long as you able to get the Nova Video Player. And remember, it's inside the Google Play Store, so you will be able to get it, guys. If you have any questions any suggestions or if you know about max you know and you you can say hey dale yes it does similar on the mac leave it in the comments because this could help someone all right guys this is me super dale i'm signing out hopefully you these direction is fairly straightforward and you'll be able to follow big salute to everyone out there this is super dale i'm signing out this joint y'all be safe i talk to y'all later thumbs up the video subscribe and follow me guys we out this month peace